Hello, I'm Daniel Cordon, landscape photographer from Russia. Xiaomi just recently challenged me with this postcard. You see a beautiful summer image here that actually warms my heart and my soul at the moment because I'm at Baikal Lake. It's January, it's freezing minus 30, minus 35 Celsius on open air. And this is the beyond the postcard challenge. So in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips on landscape photography that will help you to improve your pictures and bring them on the better level than just a simple postcard. So guys, behind me is Agoy Island. It's a beautiful sharp tooth that's going straight out of the ice. And how I form the compositions actually. So we have a subject to have a beautiful rock, but what's next? Next I'm going to look under my feet and try to find the beautiful leading lines, converging lines. For this reason I'm going to shoot not only from my eyesight as I'm standing, but I'm going to be a bit lower, maybe even just uh, put myself on the knees and trying to form X shapes or V shapes of these leading lines of the eyes. They always form a very strong perspective in your frames, creating three-dimensional feel. About the settings for this landscape, the frame that I put the uh, ISO 125, the exposure compensation is minus 0 0.7 in order to be, uh, to have the beautiful exposed sky, not overexposed, to have all the details, all the colors in the sky. Then I shoot in row, make sure in settings that you're shooting in row. And another useful feature is the focus peaking. So when I switch the focus peaking, I have these red lines that show me where I actually focused. There is a really nice feature here in Xiaomi phones that you can separate the focusing point from exposure meter. So I'm going to click here, leave the focusing point on the foreground and exposure point to the sky, like this again. Focusing point on the foreground. And now I can make a picture. And while I'm getting a little bit lower, I start actually having reflections of the rock itself. So try to be as low as possible. And sometimes you even need to put your phone down on the ice, on the water to get reflections. Sometimes you even need to break the rules. Probably most of you know about rule of thirds when you need to place your subjects in the thirds and it will be quite balanced and very well composed image but in this case just forget about these rules and you see the horizon in the middle and it just emphasizes this beautiful mirrored reflection of the Agoy rock. found this beautiful ice cave. When Baikal is just stood up in the beginning of the year, in January, Baikal is very stormy and waves are splashing sometimes 10-15 meters up to the rocks and then you see these icicles that all hanging around and sometimes in the rocks on the islands you can find this grotto, this little case, you can climb inside and make beautiful pictures from inside the ice cave. So what, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take my Xiaomi smartphone and climb inside the ice cave. So I just climbed inside the ice cave and uh, this fantastic frozen kingdom inside, all the icicles hanging from the ceiling and uh, this just very fragile area here. And it's the biggest challenge to make a nice picture here because of the light difference. The light is at the entrance of the ice cave, it's pretty bright and the environment of the ice cave is quite dark. So the biggest challenge is how to expose properly the picture. And here are a few tips that you can use along with your Xiaomi smartphone. The first feature in the promo, you can choose the exposure meter. 
you must choose the spot exposure meter instead of the average exposure meter that will most probably get overexposed entrance you can measure exposure through the entrance of the ice cave and get the most out of the detail from the raw file of your picture you can put shutter speed at alto ISO 125, 100 and exposure compensation to minus 2, minus 2.5 uh, just to make sure that the entrance is properly exposed as well It's getting darker at Baikal Lake and I'm preparing to a very special photo shoot. I'm going to photograph stars with a smartphone. So how to make it possible? Basically first you need to prepare proper equipment. You need a steady tripod and then you need a special plate on which you can put your phone into. So what are the settings for the night photography? First of all I plan the composition where my videographer Alex he will stay in the middle of the frame and we will light up the eyes below him so just put the, the light under his feet and the stars will be emerging just from the top of the rock and what about the actual settings for night photography first you need to take care of uh, the shutter speed and this is the reason why we are using the tripod the shutter speed should be around 20-25 seconds then this should be around 3000 200 2500 now you can actually see that uh, uh, we are filming in blue hour not the actual night uh, that's why i will move, move the shutter speed uh, a bit faster but the shutter speed should be about 20 seconds is a 3200 and the lens should be wide do not try to shoot the lens on ultra wide because the wide lens on Xiaomi phones, they, ha they have uh, a wider open aperture, so you get more light into your uh, phone camera. Then you need to take care of the focusing point. The focusing point should be also switched to manual and move to the infinity. That's how you get your stars very sharp. Make sure you do it. Next thing is white balance. The white balance I recommend to put on Kelvin's. Uh, this is a temperature, yeah, uh, uh, color temperature, and put it about 3500 to make sure you have a blue kind of tone on the night, so the feel of the night image. And this is it, maybe it's also worth uh, setting up the burst, so you'll have the interval, just one or two seconds between shots, experiment with light, and while you put on burst, the phone will continue to make images until you get a perfect one. Do not forget to switch to RAW. To have all the details from the shadows, it might be much better from the RAW file. This is it. We will wait for the night. We'll wait until the stars and Milky Way will be out. And we will go for this photo shoot. This is the beginning of a new year, so we'll hope for a new start, for a new year full of adventures, emotions and travel. And while I'm exploring the biggest skating ground in the world, Baikal Lake, I'm challenging you beyond the postcard. Bye bye guys! <laughs>